Alright guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Greasy Pete here once again. And um, yeah, going back to the uh, Poyala Brewery over in uh, Estonia. I think this, that's where these guys are from. Yeah, Estonia. Had a few of their beers. They tend to be more on the like experimental side. And there have been one or two beers that haven't really done it for me. But even some of the beers that I've not really, you know, enjoyed to my own taste. Aside from the, the, the coffee IPA that I had, I just think that was a, a bad bottle, unfortunately. Very high quality brewing. And um, yeah, quite a lot of their beers are available here in Germany and I've got a good access to some of their beers here in Regensburg through Beretta which is of course where I picked this one up and today I'm looking at the Prenzlauerberg which is a Raspberry Berliner Weisse clocking in at 4.5% uh, a rich and creamy sour wheat beer brewed with raspberries now I do like my sour beers, but I've got to admit, I've not had the best experience with um, Berliner Weisses. They just have like this uh, like bitter tea flavour. That's the, that's the closest thing I can uh, come to describing them. Um, but I do like raspberries, so I'm interested to see how that plays through. And uh, yeah, you can already see that that's a pale looking beer in the bottle. So using my new glass, apologies about the you know, a white background, but um, at least you'll be able to see the beer properly, he says and hopes. But yeah, lovely Teku glass, again from Beretta, it's the festival glass that they had. And uh, yeah, cool looking artwork on this one. Hopefully I can get that label off. They're, they're sometimes a bitch to get off other Poyala labels, but I just love it. It's not what you'd expect a beer label to look like, and I like that. It's like with Tuol and um, uh, Omnipolo. You know, these really often abstract looking beers, and you only know what it is when you look for the typography on there. But yeah, fantastic artwork once again, and we've got the red variant of the crown. So, without any further ado, let's open this. I came off surprisingly easy. Don't know if I should be worried about that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, pour the beer into the glass then. So, oh, look at that. Love the colour of this already. Yeah, you can definitely tell they've used raspberries in this one. So, I'll leave that little bit in there. So we can see what it looks like when it's uh, all in the glass. And uh, you're seeing it a little bit brighter than it is in person, of course. But uh, yeah, that is a lovely, literally a raspberry colour. Very hazy. Uh, there are a few little, maybe little bits and bobs in there. Or that could just be bubbles stuck to the side of glass because I've not washed this glass properly. But yeah, lovely, like deep red hues in this one. Very slight pinkish tones as well. Uh, it looks like raspberry aid. You know, like a, a cordial almost. Uh, didn't really pour any head with this one. But uh, yeah, very pretty. Very, very pretty indeed. Let's see what we get on the aroma. It sort of smells like a very faintly of malt vinegar. Then you get this slight, almost, um, it's like got that, that slight acidity to it. A little bit of like a balsamic vinegar note as well. But then you do get a very subtle raspberry aroma. Now raspberries, I find, don't really have a strong aroma anyway, unless you've got like the artificial, like raspberry, like the, you know, like overly artificial soft drink or some gummy sorts of sweets, where it's like really quite strong and sickly. 
For this, you definitely pick up that raspberry. Get like a, a slight Bakewell tart around with this one as well. Maybe a slight tea aroma. But yeah. And it's got like that slight lactose aroma to it as well. I mean, it's not like jumping out of the glass or anything like that, but what is there is very, very pleasant and very, very nice indeed. That malt vinegar aroma that I got has subsided completely. Yeah, lovely sweet tones. Anyway, let's give this a taste. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Tell you now, this is definitely the best Berliner Weisse that I've had. I don't get that weird musky tea flavour that I sometimes get with them. But yeah, that, that raspberry, lovely tartness to it. As if you've got like one of those... Yeah, you sometimes when you get like a bunch of them and like some of them are a little bit sweet and then you get that one that's got that lovely tartness to it. That's what you're getting with this. It has got that very slight velvety creaminess to it. Almost reminds me of um, the texture of like those little crushums that you could get. Like the syrup in there, then you was it milk that you poured in it, so you made like a smoothie. It's got that sort of like um, like it's a light body, but it's got a real nice smoothness to it. Very crisp, lovely tartness in there. You do get that slight vinegariness, but it is very pleasant and works well with that raspberry flavour. You definitely get the raspberry more on the flavour than you do on the nose. And it's got that very slight raspberry aid sort of character to it as well. There's nothing harsh. There's nothing too puckering, too sour with this one. The sourness is just right to the point where it's refreshing every sip that you take. Perfect for summer. You know, sat in a beer garden or sat, you know, sat in Berlin somewhere. On the street of the other yuppies. So, um... Let's see if the beer changes when I pour the rest in. Oh, it's sort of like a milkshake going in there then. And as you can see, and as you would expect, it's generated... <coughs> excuse me. But one thing is worth of a lovely white head. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, it's definitely uh, bulked up a bit in the colour, I'd say. Uh, you do, there's not really too many little bits and bobs. Maybe I am picking some up, but it's got a lovely sort of like cloud of haziness in there. So it has changed its appearance a little bit. Let's see if, what the aroma is like, if I can swivel my glass properly. Aroma, not really changed too much. Final sip now, I'll give it a rating. Maybe you get a little bit more of that raspberry flavour now that it's all in there. It's not really too wheaty or anything like that. I just love that sourness. It's like tangy, jelly sweet sourness. Nice and tart as well. But very pleasant at the same time. Absolutely crushable. And it's definitely one of the best sour beers in general that I've had for a long time too. Really, really enjoying this one. Yeah, that raspberry, it's its incorporated really nicely, so it's not sickly sweet or anything like that. Yeah, can't fault that one too much. You do maybe ever so slightly get the characteristics that I don't like about Berliner Weisses specifically. 
but they're not as pronounced and it doesn't linger on the back of the palate like I sometimes find that they do. And I think that raspberry really helps. It cuts through it, but also it like just brings the beer together. Yeah, but you know, this one, that it's going to go down so easily. So if you've tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you've tried any of the other uh, billing devices or sour beers in general that these guys have done, or just give me more suggestions for beers that these guys do. They seem to be such an intriguing uh, craft brewery. And uh, yeah, from the uh, labels to the yeah, abstract labels to the often abstract beers. Yeah. Always give them a go, I'd say. Best before date is 10th of the 4th, 2018. Quite a long shelf life. Not sure how fresh this bottle is. But there doesn't seem to be any fade or anything like that. I wouldn't say it's a rich beer, like it says on the bottle. And I wouldn't want it to be either. But yeah, lovely, lovely stuff. I'm going to give that one uh, a 9 out of 10. It's just that that ever so slight flavour that I get that I can't put my finger on from Berliner Vices. It does come into play a tiny little bit and that's stopping it from being a 10 out of 10 beer. Still a world class beer in my opinion. Still one that you should go out and check out if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, check out uh, Puyala down below. Check out Beretta as well. They're getting some really exciting beers into that shop, which is, uh, yeah, very excited about that. And, uh, yeah, check out my Puyala playlist down below for more of their beers. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for sticking it through to the end. I've been doing really long videos lately. And, uh, yeah, as always, if you tried it, let me know your thoughts and opinions. So, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully, I shall see thee later. Cheers.